Big Brother Corp follows I for us and began operations in 2020 and reported accounting income of 275,000 for the year. Big Brother's CCA exceeded its book depreciation by $40,000. Big Brother's tax rate for 2020 and years after is $30,000. In its December 31st, 2020 statement of financial position, what amount of deferred tax liability should be reported? Okay, so deferred tax liability. So we're only looking for timing differences here, but it looks like we only have one difference, which is the CCA difference. So we are going to have Okay, so we're going to have carrying value, tax value, carrying value, tax base, temporary difference, tax rate, and then deferred tax. So these are the usual columns that we use, but we're kind of in the same position we were before, where it's not telling us what the carrying value is. All it says is that the CCA was more than accounting by $40,000. So we know the tax value is going to be 40,000 more than the carrying value. Sorry, these are together. And so the temporary difference here is going to be our 40,000. And our tax rate we're given is 30%. So our deferred tax is going to be $12,000. Now, is this a deferred tax asset or a deferred tax liability? Well, the fact that we've taken more CCA for tax, then our carrying value means we're going to have less CCA we can take in the future because the most CCA that we can take is the total value of the asset. So this means we're going to have more tax in the future. So this is going to be a deferred tax liability. Okay, so that's our deferred tax liability that we're going to record. And that answers this question. Let's do the journal entry for the deferred tax liability. So we would go debit, deferred tax expense, which goes through deferred tax expense, which is a P&L account, goes through our income statement. And this is gonna be for 12,000. And then credit, deferred tax liability. This is going to be statement of financial position, and this is going to be 12,000. And remember, IFRS requires this account to be non-current. Okay, so that's part one. Let's take a look at part two. It says, assume that the $40,000 difference is the only difference between Big Brother's accounting income and taxable income. Prepare the journal entries to record the current tax expense, deferred tax expense, income tax payable and the deferred tax liability. Well, we actually just did the deferred tax one, but now let's do current income tax expense. Now, in order to calculate current income tax expense, we need a reconciliation between accounting income and what were we told for accounting income? They reported income of 275 for the year. So what are our deductions then for tax? Well, again, it's just the CCA. So we've got CCA that, CCA, which is our depreciation for tax, that's greater than depreciation. So in this number, we would have recorded depreciation expense, but it would have been lower than what we're allowed by $40,000. So we're gonna deduct 40,000 from our accounting income bringing down our taxable income, which is gonna give us our taxable income of 235,000. And then we're gonna multiply that by the tax rate, which we're told is 30%. And we're gonna get uh, current tax expense of 70,500. So our journal entry to report that is gonna be debit, current tax expense. And this is also gonna go through our income statement, 
70,500 and then credit income tax payable for the same amount. And that takes us through both of those two journal entries.